Hey, how's everyone doing today? I'm doing well. Thank you for asking. Welcome to a new episode of The Body Beatdown. Today is Thursday. <clears throat> today is also Shoulder Day. Guess what else? It's also going to be Tricep Day. Why? Because, like a dipstick, I kind of forgot and kind of put off like doing my triceps yesterday with my biceps on Arm Day. I did my biceps and we were kind of, kind of had a lot going on yesterday. I had class and I had to do this and that and kind of... I don't know. Anyway, I, I was going to work out triceps and biceps kind of separate yesterday, and I kind of forgot to do my triceps yesterday. I got home from eating. Uh, we went out and ate, and I got home, and I was so full and tired at that time that I didn't remember anything. So, uh, that don't usually happen. Anyway, so today's going to be a double dag gum. <laughs> uh, looking forward to it. Shoulder day. I'm going to be doing a shoulder press that I technically don't do ever. Uh, I'm going to be standing and pressing from the rack, which is something I don't typically do. Normally, if you see me shoulder press, I'm going to be sitting on a bench, or I'm going to be pulling it from the floor and uh, pressing and putting it back down. And You know, uh, there's a lot of movement involved in that. I like doing those because they're, it works the whole body. These here, uh, I'm not you know, I'm not really done that much. So uh, I'm gonna do these today, do 10 sets of them. I don't know how heavy I'm gonna go. I don't plan on doing a world record attempt or anything. So Michael, why, why are you bringing us on this journey with you? Well, it's something I don't do every day, number one. And number two, I'm kind of bringing people along on my journey along the way uh, to see, uh, to let you kind of see me progress and reach the PRs that I'm going for. You know, I'm going for a PR in deadlift, I'm going for a PR in my flat bench, I'm going for a PR in my sitting barbell shoulder press, I'm going for a PR maybe in squats, not so much, but maybe. And my PR is low on that anyway, that I'm going to try to get to. So, um, it's just kind of watching a person grow and progress until they finally reach their goal which you can go back and do and on my playlists and uh, see me progressing along the way and I've come a pretty good ways so I'm pretty happy long introduction and I apologize for that but you know that's part of it guys while you're at it like share subscribe comment to the body beat down if you don't mind I'd appreciate it and the more you share on your social media the more people that are gonna see the channel and the more people that might join and uh, we're trying to get people in here that are of like mind, that uh, are looking to get healthy inside and out. And, you know, we're for regular people here. We're not all glammed up and fake, you know. We're not doing anything crazy and fake in here. So, uh, and I am starting my workout just a smidgen bit early today because I got more to do, of course. So, let's go ahead and get these going, guys. 95 pounds total on the bar. Bars 45, I got 25s on each side. Let's go ahead and uh, we're gonna do two warm up sets with this. Let's go. guys I did two warm-up sets with the 95 now we're gonna throw a 10 on each side which will get us to 575 pounds or about 115 Progressing, throwing a 10 on each side again, that'll be 135. All right, we took off the 10s and we're gonna put a 25 on each side. 
with the bar total it's gonna be 145 Alright guys, throwing some tens on each side, that's going to take us up to 165 and of course eventually my reps are going to start coming down. And also the higher up in weight you go, the less range of motion you get, your form gets a little bit more wonky, part of the game, as long as you're safe and you feel comfortable. Alright guys, we're going up to 185, <clears throat> throwing 10s on. <clears throat> Alright, right now, we're going to put 5s on each side and we're just going to go up. 10 whole pounds guys, we're going up to 195. All right, we're going up, we're topping out at 205. We're putting a five on each side and I am gonna put my collars on this time just in case I get wonky, a little wonky. Alright, so we maxed out there at 205 pounds for one rep. Uh, I'll go into thoughts and opinions and details on that and, uh, and all that at the end of the video if I remember. Uh, kind of uh, comparing all the different shoulder press lifts and what I think. So right now I dropped the weight from my very final set and my 10th set. I took everything off but the 25s and so we have 25s on each side, two 25s and the bar. So it's, 145 pounds. All right, guys, we're done with the presses. Now we're over here in the main wing of the gym. My gym is so large, it has wings. Anyway, gonna do some Smith Machine Shrugs. Michael, why are you doing Smith Machine Shrugs? Why didn't you do them in there on your free weight rack or from the ground or from this or from that? Well, your shrugs are only getting about this much range of motion. Let's face it, we're not moving a great deal of body when we do shrugs. And I've done barbell shrugs from the floor, from a rack, from the Smith, from dumbbells and everything in between, easy bars, used it all. And I can tell you from my experience, which is what you need to have is experience, doing shrugs on a Smith machine is pretty much the exact identical thing as pulling it off a rack, shrugging, and then putting it back on a rack. You're getting pretty much the exact same feel and everything. So uh, we're gonna do some shrugs. Uh, I'm going to warm up with 327. 327 is a weird number, Mike. Why is it 327? Because on the Smith machine, the bar and the apparatus, the carriage that holds the bar, all weighs more than just your standard, uh, typical, everyday Olympic bar. This bar and this carriage alone weighs 57 pounds. How do I know? Well, I made a video on that. It's in the random playlist section. You can go find it if you want. But I took all the weight off. I put a table underneath it. I put a scale on top of the table and I sat the bar on top of the scale. It said 57 pounds. So that's how I know. Anyway, 
Let's start with some shrugs at 327 pounds. Let's go, come on. Now we're at 417 and I'm using my straps because at this point I want to work out my muscle and not my grip. Now I'm going to try my final set, 417 with no straps, just to appease the gods. And that's why you use straps. You're not shrugging a deadlift. Let's put straps back on. We got done with our standing barbell presses, done with Smith Machine shrugs, and now we're moving on to the last movement of the day for shoulders, and that is side lateral raises. I'm gonna do something stupid. I'm starting out with something super heavy. Hope to get one rep, even decent. I've not used these for this movement since I've been working out again. Many, 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 many years back, I haven't even done 60s but that was a different time. We got some 50s. One rep, I'll be happy. <clears throat> now, notice how I didn't try to go stupid and push myself even farther. Why? Because I could feel that it was messy. But moving this amount of weight lets me see where I'm at. You're not gonna kill yourself, guys. Don't be scared to kind of go above uh, your comfort zone and try something. Now, I don't recommend that everyone just pick up some 50 pound dumbbells and try to do side lateral raises. That's heavy. Most people don't go above 30s. So, I just wanted to see what I could do. I am going to count that as a set of four. I think it's basically what I did. And I'll put a note on there, not clean. So I'm going to do four actual decent sets of some side lateral raises. But I just wanted to share this with you. Stick around. All right, we'll go ahead to the next set. I am going to go a little bit heavier. I'm probably just going to work my way down. I got the 40s. I could have got the 45s, but I went ahead and went for the 40s. Let's see what we can do on these. I'll take it. All right, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and stop the video here. I'm just going to do three more sets of some side lateral raises, 35, 30s, and 25s, and uh, that's done with my shoulder day today. Then I still have to make up for yesterday and do my triceps. So, whew, I'm going to be worn out today. I want to touch base on uh, my thoughts and opinions on the different shoulder presses. We have from the floor with a barbell shoulder press. We have a sitting barbell press. We have a standing in the rack 
like you see me do, barbell press, and we even have a Smith machine standing or sitting. I can't do standing on there because I'm too tall uh, for the machine. But, does I say standing? Anyway, you get what I'm saying. My thoughts and opinions on these are, number one, taking the barbell from the floor up gives you a full core workout. It is a hard uh, movement to do. And uh, if you can get any weight at all up, that's good, you're doing good. Comparing that with the rack presses that you just seen me do, uh, the rack presses are a little harder because you're starting from a dead stop. You're coming here and pretty much just stopping and having to go. Where when you're coming from the floor, you kind of got, boom, a little bit of momentum. Not, not that you're always able to pop, you know, the weight up like that, but it seems like you have a little bit of momentum to get uh, started from, just a little. And I think uh, overall, I think pulling from the rack, uh, uh, doing the presses from the rack is a little bit harder overall because it's from a dead stop. Um, as far as the Smith machine goes, I find doing Smith machine barbell presses fairly difficult. They are not easy on the machine, which is a good thing. You know, it, uh, you don't have to use as much weight for sure. And it kind of humbles you, you know, you throw some 25s on there and uh, you feel like you're doing, you know, 150 pounds. So it's an interesting apparatus to use, an uh, interesting machine to use, and I say utilize it. And as far as like dumbbells go, dumbbells are a whole different uh, entity uh, on their own. So you can't really compare dumbbells and barbells. Uh, it's, it's just two totally different things. Um, as far as sitting on a bench and pressing like you've seen me do, those are probably my favorite as far as just overall like comfort and feel for the core for my back, for my whole body. You know, you're planted in the seat and you feel really secure. You don't feel like you're gonna throw anything out really. Uh, even, though, even though if you go look at my PR attempt like a week ago, you know, I'm sitting there struggling and struggling and, and I'm kind of coming off of the bench a little bit, my back is. And uh, you know, I still didn't really feel any real strain from that, as bad as my back is. So, uh, shoulder presses can be a little bit tricky and a little bit iffy for people, even those of you out there who don't have any back problems, uh, much less for those of, uh, that do like myself. So just take caution in what you do. Uh, don't be scared to push yourself and uh, try to accomplish things past the age of 25, it's okay. Uh, I had to block a guy on Facebook, uh, a group I'm in, and because uh, he was talking to you know, being kind of a smart aleck about the Smith machine. And then he, uh, he questioned me about, you know, he was saying how much the Smith uh, machine bars weigh. And I said, well, they're all different. They're all different. My Smith machine bar weighs 57 pounds. Well, I'll need proof of that, blah, blah, blah. And I said, well, I've got a video on my channel. Go we'll check it out. And uh, anyway, eventually I linked him to the video because he couldn't take five seconds to go find it. And uh, we just kind of had words back and forth and uh, and he mentioned something about you just keep destroying your body or something like that. You go ahead and keep doing your low IQ workouts and whatever. Anyway, he was saying something stupid. And if anybody knows me, I'm not gonna sit there and screw around. I'm not gonna waste my time with people like that. Uh, there's more important things in life for me to do. I'm out here trying to better myself and I'm trying to help other people better themselves. I'm not telling anyone to do exactly as I do. I always try to tell people you do what you feel comfortable with, but each person does what they want and how they feel, so it's hard to tell someone what to do exactly when working out because there's no real rules to working out. That's what's good about it. You do what you want. So, uh, anyway, that's just kind of something I wanted to get off my mind, off my chest, and if that guy watches this video, I hope you have a good day. And follow my channel and uh, maybe learn something. So anyway, guys, I'm gonna finish up my shoulders and then I gotta get triceps done and then finally find something to eat. So, well, I got it cooking anyway.
All right, guys, like, share, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff to the Bite Beatdown. I appreciate it. I'm sorry for the long-winded video, but eh, it is what it is. That's what the channel's for, all right? Again, you have to share my video, get me out there, so I become an entity in the online world. We want this community to grow, and we want to help people. All right? Get up, get out, get rad, and do it to it. We'll see you next time on the Body Beatdown. Get up, get out, get rad, and do it to it!